nine letters, what is black but also green? Clue number one says, transport yourself back to the Amazonian rainforest over a thousand years ago. Computer, transport me. Imagine yourself over a thousand years ago in the Amazonian rainforest. Your primary source of food is the land. So good soil means good crops. But in order to maintain that delicate balance between the two, you need to ensure that you're continually feeding in nutrients into the soil. One way you could do that is by using biochar, aka charcoal. By heating organic material in the absence of oxygen at temperatures of the order of 500 degrees C, you produce a black solid which can be used as a soil conditioner and a carbon storage system. You know what? That doesn't really tell me that much. Let's move on to clue number two. Clue number two says, fast forward to war-torn Britain in the 1940s. Computer, transport me. <laughs> By the early 1940s, Britain was at war. Rationing was in place, and there was limited supply of fossil fuel. One solution around this was the production of biogas. By rapidly heating organic material in the absence of oxygen, you produced both a gas and a black liquid, both of which can be used as a fuel. You know what? I think there's a theme running through this. Let's move on to the final clue, clue number three. Clue number three says, return to the present day. Ta-da! <laughs> it's very quiet. There's no gun battle. Ah, maybe there is a battle. Maybe the battle is to save the environment. But we've learnt from the past, haven't we? We have learnt that when we slowly decompose organic material in the absence of oxygen, we produce a solid, biochar, which can be used as a soil conditioner, and a carbon storage system, slow pyrolysis. We've also learnt that when we rapidly heat organic material, we produce both a gas and a liquid, both of which can be used as a fuel, intermediate and fast pyrolysis. I've got it! Pyrolysis! Three across, nine letters, what is black, but also green, pyrolysis. Oh, Josie. <laughs> so, Josephine, that was, uh, that was great, coming up with a crossword answer. Perhaps you could just say a little bit more about why that topic, why that topic is, is something that's important that you want to talk about to wider audiences. I think it's very relevant for today in terms of looking at trying to reduce our environmental impact. And particularly with the issue of fossil fuels, looking for cleaner fuels. I also talked about biochar and carbon storage. So basically, in essence, I'm talking about trying to reduce the impact we have on the environment. So in a sense, we're looking back at the past, in a way, and using those technologies in the, in the present time. Okay. Thank you. Mark, you uh, tell me more about this biochar. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't quite... I mean, you had these three segments in the talk, mm -hmm. which I think biochar was the starting bit. Mm -hmm. And how are we going to relate that to sort of present-day environment, the... I'm, I'm, I'm just missing a link somewhere. Okay. Essentially, the process that we're using is pyrolysis. Now, uh, one method we use is fast or intermediate pyrolysis. So we basically give me, take... Give me a really short definition of pyrolysis. Basically, you're heating organic material, take away the oxygen, you don't have any oxygen there, heat it at temperatures of the order of 500 degrees C, rapidly, and you produce a solid, a gas, and a liquid. All of them can be used as a fuel, the biochar can also be used as a soil conditioner. So in terms of improving the quality of your soil, it can be used as that as also. In fact, I think in, in ancient times they used it. I think it's terra preta. In Amazonian rainforests, they used it. Black earth. So how far, how far has industry gone with moving these forward? And, and if they haven't, why, why is that, what's been the stumbling block? Uh, well, there's a lot of issues there. 
Some of it's political, obviously, I think. Um, I, why, I believe. Why, why is it political? Well, there is a tendency to go for certain types of technology as opposed to green fuels. There is a perception that certain green fuels are not sustainable because they are taking food crops, essentially, to feed the process. But with pyrolysis, you can use waste material. So it could be sewage sludge. That could be a, a feedstock, as opposed to using food crops, which for me is a no-no, because it's not sustainable. Jim? OK, we time. To, uh, for a, we're all out of time, but can we just start first ever fame lab to use time travel during their slot? Once more into the breach of your friends for Josie from a JJ.